Zika is a disease caused by a virus. The virus is transmitted mainly through the bite of the Aedes mosquito, which also transmits other diseases such as dengue, chikungunya, and yellow fever. It's also sometimes called the yellow fever mosquito. A mosquito could get infected if it bites someone who has the Zika virus in their blood. It can then bite another person, transmitting the virus to him or her. The Aedes mosquito bites mostly during the day. Zika can also be passed through sex. A man can reduce the risk of transmitting Zika, like any other sexually transmitted disease, by abstaining or by using a condom every time. If infected, a pregnant woman can transmit the virus to her baby. In some cases, this transmission occurs before she even knows that she is pregnant. If you think that you might be infected and pregnant, tell your healthcare provider immediately. A woman of childbearing age should consider abstaining from sex or using a contraceptive. If a couple wants to try to have a baby, it is best for both to talk with a doctor about when it is safe to resume unprotected intercourse. Most people have the greatest chance of getting Zika from a mosquito bite. The best way to avoid getting bitten and to limit spread of the disease is through mosquito control. Mosquitoes often hide in dark areas behind plants and shrubs. Indoors, some mosquitoes that carry Zika can hide under beds, behind curtains, or in the kitchen or bathroom. At home, place screens in doors and windows and keep them closed. Cover or fill any other openings that mosquitoes could use to enter your home. Insecticide can be sprayed in the home and permethrin sprayed on gear and clothing to help repel mosquitoes. Always follow the label instructions or public health agency advice when using these products. If pregnant, ask your personal health care provider which of these products you should use, and how often, and where to apply. Use a mosquito repellent recommended by public health officials. Read and follow instructions carefully when applying it to exposed areas of your skin. Be careful around the eyes, nose, and mouth. Don't forget to put it on after you apply sunscreen. Use battery or electric diffusers with pads impregnated with insecticides. Cover yourself when possible by wearing socks, long pants, and long sleeve shirts, preferably light colored. Install nets around beds and sleeping areas and baby carriages. This is especially important if sleeping outdoors or with open windows without screens. Make sure children or family members who are sick or sleep during the day, use a bed net. Ask your family to help clean up around your home and yard. Mosquitoes can lay eggs in small amounts of still water, even as little as that in a bottle cap. Water can collect in many different places in a garden or yard, driveway or walkway. Cleaning up is more effective when performed with your neighbors and the community. This is not a one-time task. To clean up, you should remove all stagnant or standing water outside and inside the home. Remove car tires that are not in use. Pick up trash and place it in bags, then securely tie them. Or place objects in tightly closed containers and put the lid back on as soon as a collection service takes trash away. Remove empty bottles and other containers that can hold water. If you need to keep these containers, make sure you store them so they will no longer collect any water. If these containers are kept, just emptying them is not enough. Eggs can survive for many months on the sides of containers, even without water. Scrub the sides and rim of these containers to remove the eggs. Remove cut flowers from the home. Clean roof gutters regularly. Place sand under potted plants. Apply chlorine in swimming pools to prevent mosquitoes from laying eggs. Ensure that cisterns and tanks with clean water for human consumption are tightly closed to keep out mosquitoes. Mow lawns regularly. 
Here again are actions you should take to help protect yourself and your family from catching the Zika virus and other serious diseases spread by the same mosquito. You must use personal protection, plus clean up your yard and garden to prevent mosquitoes from breeding. If everyone works together, you can help protect yourself and your loved ones from Zika, Dengue, Chikungunya, and other illnesses. Although you might never get sick from Zika, what you do or don't do might affect the health of the people close to you. Act responsibly for the sake of others.